You know what? It is absolutely bloody freezing. Good morning and welcome to another video diary and welcome to this lovely refreshing day. I love how cold it is. Oh, but bloody hell it is cold. Good. The winter is coming freaking fast this, this year. Yesterday apparently it snowed in Nottingham. What? So what's been going on today? Today has been a worky, kind of worky kind of day. I woke up and I've been programming. I've programmed my game of Mastermind to randomly generate the code, uh, randomly generate the length of the code and randomly like select from words. That was really, really awkward. I had an audience there. So in other words now, I've also done this all so it saves as well to a text file. Um, I've basically got the program running up until the point that it needs to start showing the fact that it's running. It needs to now start the game. I've set up all of the settings. It's now fully rendered and ready and prepared for whatever you throw at it. So whatever's in that text file, it will know what to do. It will know what to randomly generate. All I need to do now is think of a generic uh, board render, uh, a dunna dunna, to uh, attempt to draw the board under any circumstances the text file will throw at it which is very scary and I think it's going to be very hard to pull off so I'm kind of putting it off at the moment I've just spent the last two and a half flipping hours of my life writing Laura of Lee's letter good I remembered the stamp and yes the address is correct post away right then first things first before I rant and rave about my programming let's go write my uh, very calmly go and write my uh, shopping list for tomorrow Done. I've got to go and do my shopping tomorrow morning uh, before university and the like. So it's going to be, it's going to be hectic. I've got to go down. I've got to get everything I want to do. If you, if I show you my, my, my reserves, so to speak. Ah, drink wise, we're set. We've still got like two bottles of fizzy stuff, four bottles of wine essentially. That still, which doesn't, isn't being drunk anytime soon. My eighty tea bags, my other however many tea bags, my fancy tea bags. In here we've got two cans of beans, we've got another can of beans in there. Uh, next to empty sweet jar. Uh, yeah. An empty biscuit tin, but we've got chocolate bis chocolate digestives in there. I'm just being frugal with them. And three three chocolate bars in there, but that'll last me the week. And then crisps, which I've, I'm going to write down on the list to add. So that's all of that sorted in there. Um, to add to that, basically, I want some more beans if they're on offer. I'm not in necessary need. Um, I need some soup. I need some sauces and things. I'm basically just trying to stock up. If there's offers, then I'll stock up on them, whack them in the back there. It's the, the end of the month now, so I've got my monthly food budget to stock up for next month. So uh, I've got about 50, 50 pounds worth. But uh, I've got some other monies coming in from next week because if I see something that I'm going to use to feed Lovely when Lovely comes over in 12 sleeps and if it will keep then I will get it now if it's on offer uh, because I want something nice. So if it's like steaks are on offer, steaks, it's got to be on offer. Well, it doesn't necessarily have to be on offer, but I've been told that something very nice is on offer and I'm going to get it, hopefully. Um, so yeah, I'm willing to spend over £50 to stock up um, but then I will subsidise it with next week's, next month's budget because I won't need to buy as much. Usually I buy like the same amount of stuff, like the same amount of fresh things. Um, but this time, because I'm running out of all of this, I'm reducing the amount of fresh stuff I'm buying, increasing the amount of stock up food I'm buying, and I just so happen to have enough fresh stuff to kind of carry me over. Let me show you. By fresh stuff, I obviously mean frozen stuff. Um, I've got myself, some of this isn't mine, I've got these, these chips here. I've got this meal here, ignore that meal. Uh, some, chi no, some chicken, some burgers, uh, and half, a, half a garlic bread, uh, some burgers, kind of that, and a pasta ready meal. You, Mr. Cameron, need to stop going senile on me, because you keep telling me that I need to change my battery back, and there's nothing wrong with my damn freaking battery back. You've gone mad, all right? Well, I've just found as well some hidden at the back, a stock of mints too. So I literally don't need to buy any meat, except maybe, I think I want something like sausages or something. In fact, yeah, I do. I want something like sausages so that I can do kind of like bangers and mash kind of thing. If I do sausages, mashed potato, and then I want to do like carrots, I want to try it again. And hopefully it doesn't go horrendously wrong. Um, because if Lovely comes over, then one of the things I will want to do for her is, um, is like with vegetables and things and I will have to do mashed potato for a start and I'll have to do some kind of veg to go with it 
probably, I'm just going to get like carrots and broccoli, like loose, one carrot, one broccoli, wham bam, thank you man. So on the meat front, I don't need to get very much until next week, uh, and then I will buy more next week to stock up again. Um, instead of doing like a regular, regular shop, I'm doing like stock up, small shop, stock up, small shop, like that, and it kind of like alternates. Um, so yeah, that's all like the ready meals and things. But if you can tell, my, my fridge is a little bit bare at this precise moment of time because I usually go on Saturday. So, and I haven't gone on Saturday because I was ill. Um, I'm, I'm running out of butter. I've got my chocolate digestives there. That will last me a week. I've got a block of cheese, so I don't need to buy cheese, luckily. And I've got one pepper <laughs> and three chili peppers. And the chili peppers, to be fair, need using pretty soon. So I'm going to do a, uh, a chili. Uh, pretty soon I'm going to do chilli Tuesday, I think, which is technically tomorrow because it's Monday today because it's Sunday morning, it's Monday morning, uh, but yeah, on Tuesday I will do myself a chilli. Um, so like, as you can see, that's pretty damn freaking empty, so I need to get myself vegetables, but I'm not going to decide on the vegetables until I've decided on what meals I'm having at this rate, which I've got chicken, burgers and thingy, I'm going to get... I want to get something like sausages to do bangers and mash, so I'm going to have to get like carrots, broccoli, uh, that's about it for that. Uh, then I'm going to have to get peppers, a pepper, a pepper. I don't know, I've got, a, I've got a plan. I think what I want in the morning. But I've got burgers, chicken, and it depends what they've got as well. Burgers, chicken, and thingy. So I will need, uh, I don't, do I need? I need a pepper at the very least for a curry so that I can redo it in the week for Sunday. Um, I don't know, vegetables is always like a, a dodgy one, it's very hard to, to figure out what I want until I know exactly what meals I'm having. And then in here, this is a garden, I've, I've reorganised it now, and this is going pretty damn freaking low too. Um, I might get some more pasta if they've got like a bigger bag. Um, I'm okay for onions, but I need some more sauces if they've got more sauces. These are my last two sauces here. So I'm going to have to get some more sauces, curry sauce chilli sauce and then any other sauce they've got really. That's my last can of soup. And that's the third of my beans. So I've just got to kind of like stock up, stock up, stock up. I've run out of juice. So I need both fruit juice and normal like drinking juice. And then otherwise, apart from that, I think I just need snacks like crisps, chocolate and blah, 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 which I've already told you about. And that's my shopping. Oh, but damn it, I need to find out. The store opens at seven o'clock in the morning tomorrow. And the first bus leaves here at quarter past seven, so it looks like that's when I'm bloody well leaving. Damn it. I thought the bus would leave earlier than that. God damn. I could walk down. But the idea is essentially get to the uh, get to store as soon as bloody well as possible, get the shop done and get the hell back here before people start coming up for lectures and the like. Because lectures start at nine and apparently the buses go mental up until that point. So if I can get in and get out by half eight, it's going to be a bit time con time con intensive. I think. Shall I walk? That's mental. Walk down, bus back. No, that that solves nothing. No, but it, no, but it does it solves everything because I can get down there sooner, which means I can get there as the door opens at seven. Then I can leave and get back, like leave Sainsbury's at eight. Shall I walk? What time would I have to leave if I were to walk and get there for seven? It'll be at half past six. If I leave at half past six and gun it, like, boof, like burn down the hill, like a full pelt, then theoretically that's doable. Theoretically. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I'll think about that when I get up in the morning. It depends what happens uh, when my waking up time is and when I'm getting ready to leave. Uh, if I'm ready to leave for by half past six, in the morning, which I don't think I'll be able to be ready for, then I'll walk, else I'll get the bus. I think that's the best possible plan. But that's the plan tomorrow, it's get up early, get the hell down to shopping, get the shopping done. It's so weird not having food and like planning food around, uh, like planning meals around not having any food. It's so strange, it's unreal. Um, I'm used to having shopping done and dusted by now. Um, also, I think the early start will do me good. half one and one o'clock in the morning almost one o'clock in the morning it's so nice it's like oh it's so cold and crisp and it's delicious um, and i'm hoping the early start tomorrow will do me the same 
Eagle of Justice, although it will be after relatively less sleep. Um, but that's cool. Um, that's tomorrow. Then basically I'm going to get the shop and get the hell back to here. And then we've been, because there was an issue with our water supply, we've been given vouchers off like the food centres here. In fact, hello. Uh, we've been given term offers. That's what I wanted. I've been blurry for this long. Bloody hell. Uh, oh, breakfast. Oh, I just want breakfast. That's all I want. I want to find out when breakfast is. Level one. Breakfast, lunch and dinner. Opens eight o'clock. Brilliant. Oh, that'll do. That'll do the trick. Level one. Tomorrow, breakfast. Yeah, because we've been gifted this, um, five pound voucher thing because of the water issue we've got to use it by a certain time i'm thinking tomorrow i'm going to be up early i'm not going to have much breakfast because i've got no bread i keep running out of bloody bread um so why don't we just go down come back use that voucher and get ourselves a nice like proper fry up like a proper one you know why the hell not am i am i this one yeah i am <laughs> lol so that's my plan stan that's my plan for tomorrow then i've got to hit the books i've got to hit work hard Oh my god, I just whew, panicked the frick out then. I just nearly wet myself. I just came up the steps and then like slowly, let me let me do this. Let me do this. Come up the steps, count the steps, count the steps, count the steps, count the steps. You see the crosses on that door? So thought that I was a person. Uh yeah, I'm gonna get all that done as soon as possible so that I can start work as soon as possible because I have a to-do list and a half to do tomorrow. These are all of the important courseworky type things that I need to get done at some point this week. Hopefully one of them can wait for another week, but then otherwise that's it, no more. Um, so it's going to be very, like, I'm now working my face off to reward myself with as much free time as possible to spend with Lovely. I'm not going to be completely free because Lovely's going to bring work as well, but I don't want to be like up to my neck in coursework. I still want to be able to do fun, fun stuff with Lovely. Um, I will, preferably, I'd love to be at the stage where any work that I do while she's around, and we will be doing work, Lovely, if you're watching, which is probably not, um, we will be doing work when you're around, um, but I would prefer for my work to be catching, getting ahead of myself work, because uh, I've got a lot of it. Programming is, is f f jolly good. It's being off ill this week has helped, quite a lot really, to be honest with you. It's gotten me a lot of programming done today and I have sat and deliberated about the, the thingy. I've been kind of the stage where I'm like, I don't want to start it because it's scary. I've never been scared of coursework before, but I have a feeling that if, if you program this kind of stuff, Mr. Sid, if you program this kind of stuff wrong, I have a feeling that it can like really damage your computer. I've been, like when I was looking up the advantages of running it in a virtual machine, people were saying, oh yeah, sometimes it's good to have bugs running around in a virtual machine as opposed to your actual computer. So it's kind of scary. I don't want to mess it up and then like balls up my computer big time. Um, but, but uh, I have been programming. I have FR1, Alt, Open, Bang. Oh, God damn it. Boom. Right, okay. So let me show you. Very briefly, this is all of my code from now. And this right here is what you're looking at is Mastermind and it is a beauty. I adore it. Look at it. Look at all of her powerful mastermindy goodness. And specifically what I've done today, yesterday I had it at the stage where it wasn't really Mastermind, it was kinda of like just before it. Um but now, now that I have it completely completely running again, and it's not gonna do anything there because I've programmed a function that doesn't do anything because I'm good like that. But yeah, basically what I've got it to the point now is that I've got a user interface, I've got pictures, I've got things that do stuff, and I've got buttons that change colour when you click them, and it's incredible. It's I am so freaking pleased with this. I text Mama Cat halfway through the night. Well, I didn't text her. Uh, it was about half past ten. When I just nailed like changing the colour of all the buttons and then entering in and saving like people's guesses and things. I just got that bit done. I ran out into the corridor thinking everyone else would be awake, like, yes! Realised everyone's doors were closed, and I was like, oh, damn it, text my cat, like, what the hell are you doing in bed? I was going to celebrate, and then she was like, come out, and I was like, yeah, party! And yeah, it was great. In fact, look here, here, this is the shell. Oh, oh, I'm scrolling the wrong window, but look at all the error. This is all the errors that I've that I've had. But look at that, look, look, that was fun, that, those errors. It's basically just trial and error, trial and error. I don't know how to do what I'm doing, I'm just doing it. And all of this blue, because none of it's actually output.
output into here, it's all output into forms and like message boxes and stuff. This is just me error testing, just making sure that it's entering specific loops. Look at all these errors as I'm trying to figure out exactly what the hell was going on. And that's, that's so the best thing about it. Before I started this, I didn't know how to do it. I, did, I knew how to program the game. If I did it in my old language, I'd be able to knock it up in a considerably short amount of time. I would say a day, probably less, probably half a day, to be honest with you. Um, but because it's in Python, I, I knew I had to do it in like a script, like like this here, where you just message box stuff out like text, red, text driven game. Um, but the extra extra marks and things were for a visual like GUI graphics user interface, which I told you about yesterday. Um, but I thought, well, this I can't imagine how that would be very good text driven. So why don't we just build it from the ground up? using a GUI and I developed this from the ground up there hasn't been a single part of this that has been designed not with the GUI in mind and that's why it's such a good system that's why I'm so freaking damn well proud of it I am so proud of this it's unreal um, I didn't know how to do any of the GUI stuff any of it before I started and now I've got an almost running game I've got a couple of things I've got to tick off like actually checking it can tell if you've won, if you've got it correct, but it's got to be able to tell how close you are to getting it right, if you know how Mastermind works. Uh, I've still got to do that. I've got to do loading the game halfway through, uh, and I've got to do computer versus computer, which is going to be hard, and then I've got to do the other half of the coursework. I've got to do the lab sheets, which is the other coursework. I've got to do the maths coursework. It's, it's very intensive, which is why I've got to, got to be so up, up, it, up against it. Up, you know. See you camera, now your battery is actually low, now you can actually start moaning about it. So, I am going to go to bed. Now I'm going to set my alarms for half past five in the morning. Half past five, yeah, half past five in the morning I'm going to set my alarms for. Uh, I'm going to wake up, I'm going to have a cold shower, and I'm going to get the hell out there to go do some shopping, and we are going to start this week because we are working with a prize in mind, and that prize comes into all of sleep's time. And I'm damn well making the most of it, and I hope Lovely is as well, but if she isn't, then it doesn't matter because we're, we're coming, and we're both gonna, even if I'm ahead on work, we're gonna do work, because I'm proving a point. And I'm an incredibly romantic boyfriend. Hey, Lovely, come all the way down on that four hour train journey, come on all the way down, sit there, do some work. So yeah, I'm gonna go, lol. Tomorrow is going to be busy. I'm not sure if I'm going to work tomorrow yet, like work, work. Um, preferably not, because then I can get more of this coding stuff done and I can catch up more. But I'm going to, I think, I'm not sure if I'm allowed yet because of the stomach bug. Um, I'm going to have to ring them up and I'm going to be like, manager, look, I'm all right to come in. Kind of, do, you want me, do you want me in? I kind of miss it, to be fair. Today has been a bit boring. Um, when I haven't been in the programming mood, it's been about that. Mm -hmm. It's a bit boring, isn't it? Um, so I kind of want to go, but I'm, I'm going to ring them up and give them the option to have me. Uh, I don't think... I just remember being trained somewhere saying that, like, stomach book kind of things, you have to be given, like, a full week off. I don't know how it works. I'll tell you tomorrow. Uh, so to find out that thrilling cliffhanger and to see me run around like a headless chicken tomorrow and get my to-do list done and dusted come back tomorrow. So hopefully then I'll catch you later.